I'm here on Kauai and I would like to welcome you to my new book that I'm going to read to you, Discover the Best of the Big Island of Hawaii. This book has the best beaches, volcano advice, where to go, and what to do in a limited amount of time. So if you're visiting, definitely check this out. And it's ram-packed chock full of photographs that I took when I was over there living as a local. So here we go. I'm going to read you the first chapter, The Dolphins Made Me Do It. I'm reading on my iPhone, which I love, because it goes everywhere, but it downloads into anything. Your computer, a Kindle, a Fire, any of those devices I don't even know the name of, it'll download. And it's on Amazon, so the link is below. Dolphins, Wild Dolphins, in Kealakekua Bay. Yes, this is little kid ecstasy that sweeps you off your feet and floats you into the ethers. I forget I'm human swimming in 60 feet of crystal cobalt walt water with wild dolphins. No, you are not in a Disney movie water tank. This is real. You don't have to chase wild dolphins. They decide if you're interacting or not. How do you do it? You float nearby and soon you'll hear sonar squeaks behind you. Yep, they're here now. Swimming around you in a circle, careening by your astounded face. It happened this morning in South Kona. In Kealakekua Bay. After we swam with the dolphins, Sherry who flew from Canada to learn how to shoot amazing photographs with me, said, They really know you. They only came to us. No one else got to see them. That's the mystery. They show up when they want to. Dolphins hunt at night for fish. And in the morning... Just a second. Technical difficulties. And in the morning, they go to sleep in pods after playing. One half of their brain turns off. The other half is alert and ready to flee if a shark shows up. Actually, I just found out the sharks are afraid of the dolphins. I didn't realize that until yesterday. A few of them had their eyes closed this morning. They look tired after all that hunting. But they want to play with us humans. God knows why, but they do. Us snorkelers plop right down in their bedrooms in Kealakekua Bay. The biggest dolphin of the pod knows me now. He was the one who talked to me face to face in sonar squeaks. I hadn't seen him in five days. He did come up to me and look me straight in the eyes, as close as the camera is, and squeaked at me. I don't know what he was saying. I'll find out, though. King Dolphin glided by me. The expression on his bottlenose face said, Hiya, with a smile. He swooshed by slowly like a drive-by sonar scan, taking in every detail. He knows exactly where I am. Floating down to the centimeter, there is never any touching. Just like a nun and abbot in a Buddhist temple. No touching ever. Not even a handshake. They're my friends. They are why I live here now. After the big island, I knew... I miss the wild dolphins. If this island is good enough for them, it's perfect for me. So I moved here. Waking up to birds serenading me every morning prepares me for divine happenings. Fresh cone of coffee in hand, I walk to the shore. Are the dolphins splashing in the bay? If yes, I swim out to them. Each time is different. This morning they welcomed me with smiles swimming closely by, radiating love. Other times they're nursing, playing in their pod, and spinning in the air after jet blasting out of the water. This morning they came so close it was like being hugged. I floated in a state of pure happiness. I didn't want anything, didn't need to strive or grasp. Life is amazing after being with wild dolphins. Talk about aloha. The dolphins invented it. And... That's the end of that chapter, but there is video links in the book for you to go to. And nine more chapters 
about where to find the best beaches, Heavenly Havi, Hot and Bothered, Volcanoes I Have Known. Let me go to the table of contents and read some of them to you so you know what you're getting. And remember, it's just about every page has a picture, and I'll show you some in this video. So, Easy Walks to Stunning Waterfalls, Surreal South Point, the southernmost point of the Big Island, which is amazing, Heavenly Javi, Grazing Fresh Fruit and Fish, and Adventures Running Amok. In Kick-Ass Kona, Real Hawaii, Honau Now Historical Park, which you can't, can't miss. So these are the Don't Miss Highlights. So if you have a limited time, definitely get this book. And it's available for Kindle now, and I'm working on the print edition. So enjoy, and the link is below, so you can get it right on Amazon. Aloha.